वेरी गुड आफ्टरनून आर्चेरी जी सो जस्ट लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ फर्स्ट आई एम डॉक्टर अनुसुया रॉय पी एच डी फ्रॉम टेक्सटाइल टेक्नोलॉजी इन टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन सो माई क्वेश्चन इज सो 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 यू ऑलवेज सी द ट्रूथ or righteousness is uh, actually the one who needs shakti advertisement or power right whereas maya on the other hand is rampantly advertised and promoted but if you look at today's con- context money is also a very powerful tool which resides mostly with several people who might not be so much righteous so what do you suggest do we transform those power holders uh who are power holders of money into righteous one or do you say that we should um you know uh, uh transfer transform those people into more righteous one should the money be transferred or should the people be transferred into a more righteous one if i if i'm making any sense so if the later is correct how would you earn a huge uh money power from the system of maya and without succumbing yourself to maya and eventually what's the point because if you look at any particular time there will be an equilibrium in the existence of both the right and wrong persons uh, holding power so this impact i believe won't be realized or be felt by the society if you can kindly enlighten me on 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 this issue and you see this has this has always been the case and uh, some kind of a solution has been uh, found uh, depending on the specifics of the time and the age hmm? you you look at that uh, classical uh, duel between ram and ravan ravan was the super power of that time all the resources were concentrated in in his hands were they not and uh, the palace itself was of gold what more can be said and uh, he was sought to be reformed initially obviously uh, the first attempt has to be to to enlighten the other to try to reform the other uh, but that usually won't work and when that does not work then there has to be uh, strife and struggle dharmyudh it's not without uh, reason that the most important scripture of uh, the sanatan uh, fold hmm, is uh, set on the battleground bhagavad gita so and even there on the battlefield the pandav uh, side was uh, in terms of resources and numbers significantly less powerful than their adversaries so Mm, solutions have to be found on one hand uh, you you have to try to bring people like duryodhan in line so vidur tried to say something to him bhishma tried to show some sense to him even krishna went to teach him and somehow uh, get him to agree to peace sometimes that work sometimes that may not work when that does not work then you have to figure out how to accumulate resources and how to have the tactical where with all to confront the enemy and uh, then you take them on you take them on there is no other way you talked of uh, the rich people in in today's era you see if we could uh, be a people who who work on consciousness then the riches would ideally belong to the people who have the consciousness to utilize those riches it would be a simple equation 
the extent of resources at your disposal must be proportional to the depth of your consciousness simple equation that would determine how much money a person must have or could have on the contrary if you have a society in which people with very ordinary or uh, even below ordinary levels of consciousness are commanding resources and power then that society is uh, bound to go down as we are seeing today hmm? uh, and that's uh, adharm in the social sense that's exactly what shri krishna was trying to avoid hastinapur was the most important and the most powerful kingdom of the time krishna didn't want that all those uh, resources should uh, go into undeserving hands like that of duryodhan it was not just a matter of uh, justice prevailing in the sense of a feud between brothers it was not something internal to one family it was something that was going to affect a lot of other people the entire population of hastinapur and also probably all the other kingdoms hmm, in the in the indian subcontinent it had a much wider context so dharm then had to be upheld and that's why the battle had to be fought and that's why the geeta had to be narrated hmm? that's something that you would need in every era because maya is at uh, work continuously and uh, so she she ensures that uh, all kinds of uh, nonsensical and atrocious things keep happening all kinds of undeserving people keep uh, getting uh, uh, power they keep becoming the presidents and the prime ministers of the world and uh, even evil minds uh, keep uh, getting to accumulate uh, wealth and influence so when you when you uh, see that happening uh, then it's upon you to go back to the gita and uh, remember what was instructed to you and not be shy of uh, a good battle no 